Hey, what's good? Jim Alfano here with the Brook Team and EXP Realty. Thanks for checking out my featured listings of the week. Let's dive into it. We have four properties in Florida, two in Connecticut. We're starting out in St. Peter, a beautiful townhouse. What I love about this is the proximity to the marina. It's also a really nice unit. So let's let's take a look. 680,000, um, four beds, three baths, 1970 square feet. Corner unit. 644 for the HOA fee, which is not terrible for Florida. And it's also not a high rise. So should be a safe setup here. Also, I'm not gonna pause. I mean, you can pause to look at the data. I'm not gonna read everything, but uh, by all means, if you're interested, take a pause or I could send you. To, you'll have the listing you can click on too as well. All right, um, let's go to the next one. Oh, let's look at the pictures. Jeez, getting ahead of myself here. Here we go. All right. So I love the colors on the outside. And I just like this unit. It's it's really nicely set up. Laid out well. High end appliance, like high end fit and finish and appliances. The flooring is nice. It's I think got that ceramic on it, so it's really resilient. So it's what they call engineered hardwood floor. Like the bathroom, not thrilled with the uh, mirror on there, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Cool space balcony here to hang out. And I'd love to walk through this property in person because, you know, the photography is good on this one. I'm not complaining about it. Uh, it would just be interesting to, to see it in person and get the feel of it. House is definitely are uh, just have a different perspective when you see them in person versus for photography and an elevator if your knee hurts you don't have to run up those stairs this bathroom i i just looked at it a minute ago it's interesting right i don't know how i feel about it it's quite a basic mirror and the sink is like yeah and the tub is okay but uh, you know aside from that it's a really nice unit Great garage, plenty of nice uh, off space to the side where the car isn't. Looks like a big unit, a big garage and a nice backyard here. And again, you could walk to the marina. Look, this is the unit and you go, bah, 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 bah. you're right there. You're on your boat. Love that. So beautiful location. Hope everyone fares well. Some, some of these properties are on the water and with the hurricanes happening today. So hopefully everyone's safe and good and doesn't have too much damage. That's a nice pool. Looks like a great complex. Got a garage, got a nice amount of parking spaces. Yeah, home run here. Next one, we are in Madera Beach. 1.425 mil, 1,986 square feet, four beds, three baths. And this one is on the border, I believe. Let's go scroll down a little bit. Make every day feel like a vacation. Yes, indeed, moving ready and updated. right there on the water it's a gorgeous home let's go and check it out that is so nice man yeah this is an awesome property Smart how they did the labeling on these photographs as well. I'm a fan. That's a good idea. I may copy that. When appropriate. Pattern's a little busy here in the kitchen. It's too many differing ones. I would have made one, two of these elements a little simpler, right? Because you got one pattern on the floor, one on the countertop, another on the backsplash. And it's just, I would simplify that, but it's still very nice. Great having the pool there, right by the water and your boat. It's a beautiful property. Cool sailing fans. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I don't like about this. Can't nitpick a lot here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Florida allows 
a hundred photographs in Connecticut only 40 isn't that interesting I don't know why there's a 40 picture limit in Connecticut if you really like the house you're gonna want to see all these pictures and I appreciate them you don't have to use a hundred so great photographs let's move on to Bel Air here we have 3.95 mil uh, three beds three and a half baths 3225 square feet beautiful home Take a pause on this and read it if you would like. Again, another waterfront property, absolutely stunning. All right, what a wonderful driveway. Pretty house, man. <laughs> Let's go, who wants to see this? Wow, that would not get old. If I lived here, I would never get tired of looking at that. Not so sure what's going on here with this side yard. I mean, it's nice looking. I just, I'm a little confused by it. Like, why is there the two spots of uh, AstroTurf or grass? I can't even tell. Um, interesting looking. I'm sure there's a reason I'm not seeing. If you know, put it in the comments, please. Let me know backlit on this pool and the lit up palm trees just so beautiful look at the staircase oh god i'm gonna shut up i just like I'm drooling over this property nice high seawall too hopefully that helps them today stay dry they're gonna get hit a little bit we got five to eight foot swells around here oh that's what i was looking at so there's water there huh an outdoor shower, but I don't see a shower head. I don't know. Oh, there's the shower. Yeah, so it's a place to clean your feet in an outdoor shower. That's what's going on, I think. Might as well be on a cruise ship. Oh, look at that bar. I know it's called like the egg or something, that barbecue. Really cool. <laughs> huh, that's interesting. There's a hit. Oh, it's a light. Yeah, this is just simply beautiful. Stunning. All right, who wants to go check it out? Now we're on the beach here. A uh, little bit more of a sedate thing, but it is direct beach access. Walk out and you're there. So just under a mill. Uh, three beds, two baths, 1,250 square feet. Says price below market value. I'd have to check that if you're interested, but let's check it out. Built in 1978. It is older, but it is not a high rise. So I don't know. There's some things going on with the condo here. We'd have to look into it. Monthly HOA is 750 Again, for the area and that it's beachfront, it's not outlandish. So, and especially a million dollar property, right? The outside is very nice, and then it gets into this like really unique. I like this wood and the look of it all. It's a cool vibe in this this uh, condo. You can sit out by the water there and walk to the beach. You're surrounded both sides. You got water. You okay, see so this sides are across from the beach, and then here you can see out to the beach. But that's it. You're right there. You don't have to worry about parking by the beach. You're there all the time. Yeah, nicely done, tasteful setup, beautiful property. And that's the money shot right there. You're on the beach. Let us go. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. <laughs> it really doesn't get much better than that. It's super gorgeous. Next, we are going back to Connecticut here, Ridge Field. Five beds, three and a half baths, 1.15 mil, 4133 square feet. Impressive Tudor style home on a cul-de-sac. 
Richfield is a great town. Uh, let's go check out the inside of this beauty with the limit of 40 pictures in Connecticut. Yeah, it's a very attractive home, nice stonework, masonry. I like the flooring in that, that outline. That must have taken a nice amount of effort to get that done right, and it looks really good. This room is cool. Huge fan of that sunroom. Hmm. Love the tall ceilings. This bathroom is outstanding too. It's huge. This bathroom's a little dated, but still nice. Hangout room down here. That could be upgraded a little bit. Uh, still just an absolute gorgeous home. That's why it's on my list. <laughs> here we got floor plans. Boy, I wish every plot, proper, property, property had floor plans. That would be good. All right, done with that one. And now over the next Ridgefield. This is a new construction, two acres, four beds, three and a half baths, 35, 16 square feet, 17 mil. We're still at the dollar store with all these properties. I don't know. Everyone's, once, sometime they're going to stop doing that. 1,699,000. What? It's not 17 million? I'm buying it. <laughs> Custom built modern, modern farmhouse. First floor pri primary bedroom. That's outstanding, beautiful property. Let us take a look at the inside. If you haven't been to downtown Ridgefield, it's a great place. Uh, good restaurants, movie theater. Uh, the Ridgefield Playhouse is off the hook. Love seeing shows there. This is nice. I love the, the, this high ceiling. This whole setup here is just absolutely beautiful. Kitchen's great. I like that rich blue. I've seen it in a number of other properties and I'm also digging the gold on white accent. Now, with this level of property, I think there's no excuse to have this uh, unsightly under the counter setting here. You know, I don't know what, what needs to be done for that. It shouldn't look like that though. At least paint it. That would be my one gripe. All the lighting here is cool. There's very little else to complain about here. Very nice listing. What a great bathroom. Oh my God. And for a second, I thought that was David Bowie in that picture. <laughs> it was like a baby. I don't know. I cracked myself up. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, and delay. Oh, yeah, there's downtown Richfield. See, they promoted it here. It's worth promoting. It's absolutely beautiful. In the winter, it's like a winter wonderland. It's straight out of a, a movie. Yeah, there it is. Richfield Playhouse. I imagine that, too. I saw a, a show there one night with Paul Simon. He he was, uh, I think it was one of the last shows he, he did ever. I want to say it wasn't his concert, but he made an appearance. And he did a song or two, and it was very, very nice to see him up there. Yeah, let's take a look. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Um, at some point, I may start splitting these up into individual videos per property. Like, instead of trying to do the six in one video, just set them up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. At a minimum, I think I'm going to try to make chapters here tonight. So at least you could skip over uh, to sections. Well, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Again, reach out uh, if I can do anything for you. Uh, like, subscribe, and I hope to speak to you. Have a great day.